While waiting on our sail kit to come, I gave the rudder two coats of Interlux fiberglass bottom coat. The surface was already prepped and ready for bottom paint. Hey guys, so I'm at my in-laws house today because we don't have a garage at our condo, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting to sew a sail today. And actually I'm going to be starting to sew our a new Genoa for our boat today and, and eventually we're going to have a new main as well um, that I'm going to sew. But this is uh, something that I've never done before and it's something that I wanted to do and we're saving a lot of money by sewing it, sewing it ourselves and we went to Sailrite and they have these these kits that are customized to your boat and basically uh, Jeff is their sail is their uh, sail uh, sail maker and designer out there and he'll you talk to him and he'll design a custom sail kit for your boat and then send you out all the materials you need uh, to to be able to, to be able to make that sail and everything's cut to size so there's uh, other than this umbrella uh, UV cover you don't have to make any cuts really um, and it's all you know pretty pretty much dummy proof you know you can just you t base it together tape it together which you'll see and then you just sew it together and that's what we're going to be doing so first we're going to start with the genoa the main is going to come in a couple weeks um and that's it so for the main sale basically the we're going to have a cdi we're actually getting a cdi main sale reefing system so um that's actually what prompted me to hold, to, to, to want to get new sails for this boat too is we're going to be getting a new main for that and also our jib that we have currently the old jib is really small it's not meant for the boat um we don't like it <laughs> so uh we're just going to do two new sales and we're saving a lot of money by doing it ourselves and we're gaining a lot of experience so down the road if we ever want to do a spinnaker ever want to do any more any any different sales uh for a different boat or for anybody else now we know how to do it so uh it's going to be a pretty good experience so we can't wait um the main sail reefing system from cdi is coming in on monday um it's currently friday right now so it's coming in a few days and that'll be going in i'll be installing that and as soon as i install that that's when i can give jeff at sailrite the all the information for the main sail and then he can build a roller furling main kit for me so that i can um i can make a sale for that too so uh we're really excited but we're, like i said we're starting with the genoa i'm at my i'm at my in-laws house um got a nice two-car garage here to work with and that's it this is our brand new Sailrite Ultra Feed. Uh, it's an LSZ1. It's the zigzag model. Uh, it's just the basic package. We didn't get anything uh, anything too fancy on it. This is my Genoa. So obviously it's not a Genoa yet, but it comes in a, it comes in a big roll and a kit and everything. And I've already unpacked it as you can see. But the sail kit comes with everything you need, already pre-cut, pre-measured, pre-marked, um, ready for you to base it and sew it together so comes with instructions and everything so it's it's pretty uh pretty self-explanatory so before i started filming i did do one seam here and as you can see i sewed one seam together just to to try to get the hang of it make sure i was going to be able to do everything right and it came out really good honestly so uh, from here on out we're gonna we're gonna be filming everything and uh, i'll try my best to make it interesting for you guys but we'll see how it works So as you can see, um, you'll notice this when you're basting the sails, uh, putting or sticking them the pieces together. You'll notice that the sail will not lay flat, um, and it's not supposed to. That's this is what it's supposed to look like. So if you know anything about sailing and about sail design, is sails aren't just a flat piece of uh, material. They're actually 
built in. They have curves built in, and the sail has a 3D shape. So you'll notice it. The, the pieces are flat when you first get them, but the way they're cut and the way you sew them together, it makes it so that it does this. Um, because when it's laying flat, it doesn't want to lay flat anymore. It's because now we're sewing uh, shape into the sail. So, uh, and it won't look right laying flat unless, and the only way it's going to look right is if it's, if it's up and, and flying, because then you'll see the shape of the sail, you know, like an airplane wing. But, but yeah, so the fact that we're seeing this is good. Uh, just following the lines here, and now I'm just going to sew the seam. That's not good. Yeah, I ran out of bobbin thread, so. Alrighty, I thought that it was gonna, I should have checked it. I thought that it was gonna last more than three seams, but, so it looks like, you know, I'm gonna change the bobbin out every two seams, it seems like, or at least check it. So, all right, I'll do that. Luckily, I noticed, but you can see I'd made all these holes here, so without, so it's, we'll see, uh, kind of mad about that but we'll uh we'll deal with it this is uh the this is the learning experience so now i know after i finish this seam i'm gonna change the bobbin out <laughs> well this seam and then yeah like once i gotta do two sets of stitches so So I want to show you, this is what happens when the uh, either the presser foot's too loose or you're putting too much. Basically what was happening is I, I had too much sail rolled up underneath the, uh, the foot of the sewing machine and uh, it was bunched up so much that it's, it stopped feeding and you know quickly. So you know you have these nice stitches right here and then next to, this is what happens when you when it's not feeding properly. So I'm gonna try to avoid that for the rest of the sale, but for now, I mean, that's the only, this is the only area where it kind of looks really fudged up. All right, so now it's time for the tack patches here. So I'm gonna do the tack before the clue because I rolled up the sail already right over there. So um, they are going to go like that. So I've got the clue attached, got a stitch in there already, webbing, clue, uh, I got all the, the clue patches, the glued, the webbing installed, basted, and the clue ring on there. So yeah, I'm just going to sew everything together now. Do the head patch now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all the patches out of the way now while I well while, while it's still easy to do. That came out pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Just because I had I was able it was easy to work on. <laughs> Look at that got the biggest part of the sale done. Looks like so. Just uh, one, two, three, four. I got the fourth section on. There's eight sections, including the head, I think, so.
home to work on the sale, and even her dad lent us a hand. So we got the Dacron tape on the leech and we are going to be installing the leech line now. And got that, got the Dacron tape sewed down and then we're gonna put the leech line on and then sew the rest of it down. And then the leech will be done and then we'll move to another part of the sale. Looks good. It's a sale. Look at that. It's a sale. It's a sale. I, I think our other jib like probably came out to like here. <laughs> it was like half of like what it came, and it was not, was not nearly as long. Why are you doing that? You sewed the sail to itself. Because I didn't say anything. Cause... It was my fault. Yeah. So this is the first time I've had a major faux pas on this. <laughs> I don't. I don't think the sail is supposed to be sewed to itself. Probably not. Probably loses a bit of performance. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, I think we'll be able to fix it though. Yeah. The next day we went out to the boat to put the Genoa on. As always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so you can keep up with what we're up to week after week. We also wanted to thank Sailrite for the awesome sail kit and sewing machine. There's a link to them on our sponsors page and in this video description.